Hey guys, it's Shannon. I have a furniture update for you today. So we do want to kind of do something big with the corner of the room that this piece is actually living in. It's our TV cabinet. So we have a lot of electrical equipment and a large TV that sits on top of it. So until we do that big makeover, we're just sort of making what we have work and updating it. So it looks nice in our freshly painted and updated room. So here's a look at the cabinet before. It's actually a really nice cabinet and it's got really good storage in it. So it works really well for us right now. So we're gonna hang on to it and just update it. And what my plan is, is to leave this top nice and dark the way it is. I'm gonna touch up some spots and you know refinish that a little bit, but I'm gonna keep this dark on top. And then underneath here, we're just gonna paint this white and give it some new hardware. So it'll have a fresh new, more of the farmhouse look and style that we're going for. So for the paint, I'm using my trusty Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I get this from Walmart, so it's readily available and it's actually really, really good quality. I love this stuff. It's really great for furniture and wood signs and stenciling and that kind of thing. So of course I went ahead and decided to paint my cabinet with this. I also have some painter's tape so I can tape the top off as well as these windows off. And then I'm just gonna be using some foam paint brushes to apply the paint. So let's get started. All right, so I have everything taped off here and I removed the knobs off of here. This is a really easy way to sort of update furniture is to just put new hardware on there. So I took those off. We're not gonna need those anymore. And now I'm going to chalk paint. And the great thing about chalk paint is, is you don't have to prep your surfaces. So you don't have to sand it, you don't have to prime it. The only thing I did was just make sure I cleaned it really well so that there's no dirt or dust on it. And I'm just going to put probably two, at least two coats, if not three coats of this to cover up this dark hardwood. So here is a look at one coat, the very first coat. Obviously it's very, very splotchy, which is why you're gonna need at least two, if not three coats uh, with this. 
and the great thing about chalk paint is that it dries really fast so now that I've gone all the way around it this first time I can go back to the start and add my second coat of paint because the side is already dry so I really like that because it cuts down dry time like you don't have to wait in between coats like an hour or so you can just keep going back as soon as it's dry so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a new paint brush a fresh one so this next coat goes on really nicely and now here is after two coats and I am definitely definitely doing three coats if not four coats I want really really good coverage I think three coats will actually not be too bad, but if it needs a fourth, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Two coats is quite a bit of chalk paint and I want it to cure before I add a third coat. And then I'll come back and do it all over again. All right, so here it is the next day. I did end up doing four coats on this and then I let it sit overnight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off and add the new hardware for the handles. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this before and after transformation. It is amazing what a little bit of paint and some new hardware can do for a piece. It definitely brought this TV stand back to life. I hope you will give this video a thumbs up for me. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hit the bell as well so that you get notified when my videos go live and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.